Roughly 10,000 Gazan Palestinians rioted at the Israeli border fence on Wednesday in honor of annual Nakba Day, or the anniversary of Israel's independence, which the Palestinians refer to as the catastrophe. And once again, in similar fashion to all the other days along the border, rioters burned tires through rocks, set at least nine fires in Israel with incendiary balloons, and they set off explosives too. But with strict restrictions on the use of live fire rounds, at least during Eurovision, Israel reportedly responded with various riot dispersal means only, like rubber bullets and tear gas, and nearly 50 Palestinians were injured to varying degrees. It's not clear how these people were injured, however, whether it be by tear gas, rubber bullets, smoke inhalation, or in rare cases recently, live fire. And all in all, relatively speaking, this was a much tamer Nakba day than as seen in the past. That said though, the riots are not and have never been peaceful by any stretch of the imagination. They've always been structured with the intentions of inflicting maximum human and property damage, even at the cost of human rights. In fact, the Hamas terror organization which orchestrates the daily riots has been confirmed to have even closed down schools ahead of Nakba Day so that children could be sent to the border to be used as human shields. Yet the perception persists that Israel is simply firing on unarmed peaceful protesters and non-combatants. So in attempts to dispel this myth, the IDF has now begun a new social media campaign of informational videos with video evidence against Hamas and the rioters. This aside from posting regular updates on the violence against Israel and warnings to Hamas to keep its children in school. So check it out at the IDF's official Twitter.